So then, before we start playing around with MongoDB, first we need to have a MongoDB database to work with. Now, there's a couple of options when it comes to setting up a database. We can either use a hosted service like MongoDB Atlas and then connect to that, or we can install MongoDB locally onto our computer and communicate with that instead. In this series, I'm going to show you how to install MongoDB locally onto your computer and work with it that way, but later in the course, I'm also going to show you how to set up a hosted database using MongoDB. MongoDB Atlas and connect to that as well. Anyway, let's start by heading to the MongoDB download page, which you can find at this address. And by the way, I will leave this link down below the video. And what we want to do is use the free community server edition. So select that and then also choose the version that you want to download. I'm using this current version right here, so if you want to follow along exactly like me, then select the same version. My platform is Windows, but if you're using something different, then select that from here and then hit the download button to start the download. All right then, so once you've downloaded it, just double click the install file and just go through the installation wizard, dead easy. So accept the terms next and we're going to go for complete and you want to make sure that install MongoD as a service is checked right here and that is going to install it as a service that we can turn on and off on our computer. Leave this the same as it is and click next and then we want to make sure this is checked as well. Install MongoDB Compass. This is a graphical user interface that it's going to install for us as well to interact with the database and we'll be using that a little bit as we go forward. So make sure that's checked and then click on next and then finally install and just wait for this to install. So once it's all installed, MongoDB Compass is probably going to auto start for you. For now, just minimize that because we're going to talk more about that later on. And next, I also want to install another tool which we're going to use heavily in this course called the MongoDB Shell. So the MongoDB shell allows us to interact with MongoDB from a terminal. And for the first half of this course, that's exactly what we'll be doing to learn the basics, because it gives us an environment then free from any particular development environment or programming language. So it doesn't matter whether you're going to be using MongoDB with a Node application in the future or a Python one or something else. We can all learn the basics of MongoDB the same way using the MongoDB shell. So we also need to download this shell tool as well because the community version of MongoDB that we just installed doesn't include the shell automatically. So head to the tools option first of all at the top and here we can see a few extra tools available for us to download as well. Now one of them is MongoDB Compass which is that GUI tool we just briefly saw and that came fully baked into the community server installation. The one that we want though is the MongoDB shell. So click open that, select the same version as me and your platform and then download it. All right then my friends, so sim again, when it's downloaded, just double click on that and go through the installation. And I'm gonna click on next again, install it. Hopefully it's just gonna take a minute or so to install. And now that's done, we just want to verify the installation. So to do that, I want you to open up any kind of terminal. You can use command prompt if you wish. And inside here, all you have to do is type mongo, then sh and press enter. Now, if you do that, if it's installed correctly, then we're going to get into an interactive shell, an interactive Mongo shell where we can start to write Mongo commands. Now we can see the version right here and the version of MongoDB installed as well. If you're not getting this, then you've not installed it correctly. So just try that process again. So then we'll be using a combination of the shell to write commands to interact with MongoDB and also the GUI tool the graphical user interface, which is MongoDB Compass to kind of visualize what's going on a little bit more. We'll be using both of those tools throughout this series, but mainly this one right here, okay? So first of all, in the next lesson, what I'd like to do is talk a little bit more about how MongoDB stores data in collections and documents.